we got these raised um, garden beds, um, you know, to put like um, herbs and stuff in. The only problem is I kill all the herbs. So we're going to rip these off temporarily for everything else. And then, uh, so I need to put these things together. And then we're going to put the babies in this. And then uh, I'll build real raised beds, I suppose. Um, and then we'll see how that all goes. But step one of this thing is to uh, put this thing together. All right, I went ahead and put these two raised beds together. We got them in a cart because we're gonna take them to my neighbor's house. We're going on vacation for a few weeks and I don't want my plants to die. And it's too much of a problem for her to come over here and have to water them here on my home turf. So I'll bring it to her and this wagon works great for it. We'll hook it up to a flash and we'll be over there in no time. The problem is I gotta put dirt in here. This thing is a self-watering. It has a tube that I took out because it's just a pain. But um, I'm not a fan of this raised bed because it's cheaply built. It has not much durability. One fell off a shopping cart at the store in high winds and pretty much shattered the entire corner. Okay, my fault. This other one didn't fall and it still broke several pieces. So this one will hold water, the other one won't. And there's no way to really test how much water's in there once you start putting dirt in there and stuff. So it may work for some people, for me it's not. I'm going on vacation, I have no time to really test this stuff. So I'm just gonna get some dirt in here, give it to my neighbor, and life should be good, right? So we'll see how it goes. So let's get some dirt going here. Looks like an earthworm right there. I got a couple more on the other side. So this is the, um, the raised bed mix. Um, I'll show you the bags in a second. So this is just what that is, right? We got that in one of these. Over here, I got a combination of the raised bed mix and potting soil, because I thought the, ra the raised bed mix was maybe just a little too coarse and heavy for uh, my little seedlings. I'm sure my seedlings will work fine in it, but I wanted to try a little potting soil on the top. So I'm using Harvest Organics uh, potting mix. I just put one bag in there. I'll put this bag in the other one. And this is the Harvest um, Organics, uh, the uh, raised bed mix. Um, these bags are kind of heavy. They feel like they're about maybe 50 pounds if they get wet. Like if you leave them out and maybe they got a hole in them and it takes on rainwater, these things get kind of heavy. One didn't have that problem and it was a little bit lighter, probably 40 pounds. So um, let's get back to work. So these are the babies. These are the ones that need to be thinned out, need to be transplanted. Um, so uh, we'll see how it goes, right? Okay, let's get one of these out of here. All right, so these are Cherokee purples that I'm working on right now. Um, and as you can see in here, we got three healthy siblings, twins, in this case triplets. I don't want to sacrifice them if I don't have to. If one of them wasn't doing good, I would just yank them out. Step one I do is I just, I remove as much dirt as I can. Uh, Cause once I remove all the dirt, usually the roots come out really easy. And I just say, you know, I just massage it to get the bulk of it out. Okay. And uh, that's reasonable. Due to time constraints, I don't have time to sit here all day doing this. Cause I'm going to dunk these in water, which works amazing. Give them a little bath. Pull them out. And these ones are a little stubborn. Okay, here they are. Now they're clean. Let's pull them back here. The goal is to gently separate them without ripping the roots. They usually come, see. That one's a little stubborn, so let's work on these two. Coming slowly. <laughs> they are. It, it's a little process, right? It's, it's Project Love here. Boom. He's separated from him. Now let's get these two separated. Sometimes it, it takes a. Do I have. How many. Oh, geez. The one didn't separate, Boo Boo? Oh, yeah, he did. Okay, he's over there. 
I thought I had four. The record so far is five I separated today. Oh, Lord. And what's that? Quintuplets? All survivors. So right now, these are three healthy babies. Now, once again, you know, if, if, if one is beat up, no leaves, burnt to death, whatever, yeah, just sacrifice them. These are all healthy. These are all good, right? And these are, you know, these aren't plants you find at your big box stores. And I don't know if local nurseries carry this stuff. This is why you have to go to their seed companies. I'm crowding these guys because I don't have room not to crowd them. I just have too many plants. But they're only going to be in here for a couple of weeks. Once we get back from our trip, if my neighbor is successful in keeping them alive and actually grow a little bit, maybe we can sell some of them as uh, starts. Um, but, uh, because we don't need, you know, 90 plants. <laughs> I mean, Amy, you know what 90 plants would do, boo-boo? You know what kind of canning you'd have to do? Oh my gosh. Yeah, you'd have to take vacation time just so you can can. You, you, you become, you know, you know. So this is what you got going over here? Yeah, over there is mostly tomatoes. The ones at the far end are peppers. Got some jalapenos, got some California wonder. Everything else is tomatoes. Um, you'd have to read the sticks to see what they are. Because um, from here I just see the word tomato, but on your side you see what the variety is. But we got like three different varieties, I think, of tomatoes over there. These are just more, right? So, okay, so we got all, all those in there, yay. We got twins over here. And um, I don't like to just grab by the stems and pull them out, because that's a little too crazy. So I just use these guys, and I'm able to get the whole plug out. Now, if it's just a single plant, boom, in the ground, two seconds, done. But once it's twins, we gotta do what we just did to the triplets, except it's a little easier, because it's not as much involved. Um, but still. Okay, they're getting their first wash. On the road again. Okay, there we go. We got, got the plants on the road going again. Going to the neighbor's house. Don't know what's going to happen to them, friends. But they're on the road again. Going to Maria's house. <laughs> She's going to water them for the next two weeks. Hope she doesn't kill them off. But they're on the road again. <laughs> There they are. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Look, I can't for a second. Just come on, man. I have Well, I don't have any shoes on, though. So they'll be here for a week and a half until we get back. Hmm? Cutie. All right. Maria has been graciously <laughs> offered to water them for us, and she won't kill them. That's my best. There's no guarantees, though, right, in life. They're either going to live or they're going to die, or they'll thrive. Who knows? We put some netting on them to try to keep the deer from eating them. It's too high for the rabbits. That's by design. So hopefully these things will grow a little bit in the next two weeks while we're gone. And uh, hopefully Maria won't kill them. So as long as she waters them and they grow and they enjoy the sunlight, hopefully it'll be a win-win, right? And then she's going to hold them hostage. So we'll see how this works out. So thank you for watching and we'll see how they are in two weeks. Oh, she's gonna sell them while they're gone. While we're gone, that's nice. How many people have a neighbor like that? This is a uh, part of Maria's garden. She's got several. This is just one side. Got a couple of plants up there. Some stuff in the background. She's got a bunch that she still needs to plant. So she just might be qualified to uh, water my plants and keep them alive. Hopefully they won't make. Bye bye, babies. Dad, Dad loves you. There's my celery and zucchini. The yellow leaves um, are getting replaced with green leaves, so I think they'll uh, be just fine. I did lose one celery in the last two days. These ones are still alive, 
so I think they'll be good. All right, here we are. We got back from our vacation. You see all the babies here. Uh, these are a lot of the tomatoes and peppers. You can kind of see they're growing here. For reference, these little guys over here aren't doing so well, so I don't know. They might not be good. That's the jalapenos. Um, you can kind of see in reference towards the end, some of those guys in the back are actually growing kind of good. They're almost up to the netting level. So they actually grew. So I have to actually compare this video with uh, what we shot before we got back, or yeah, before, when we went on vacation, to see what they did over the last few weeks. Just right here, it looks like everything stayed alive. Yay, nothing died. But just no spectacular growth. But once again, usually when you transplant, sometimes they're not happy for about a week or so, and then they just start taking off. So we'll have another round of thinning things out, of course. But I just want to see how these guys are doing. Yay. So I'm happy that nothing died over the last few weeks. But I'm also kind of wishing they would have taken off. Because, you know, there's some good nutrients in this soil. And plus I did hit them with some of that uh, fish emulsion, which make them happy. And I did hit them with lime, which contains calcium and magnesium. But who knows? Do I really need to hit things with miracle Grow, even if it is the organic version? Who knows? But, um, and then we do have some new babies to add to the uh, list here. All right. We did go to the store and we got some um, John Marconi's and some Anaheim's, uh, both peppers, because we didn't have the seeds for them, so we couldn't grow them. So you can kind of see these are actually doing pretty good. Um, we need to transplant them because they're clearly root bound. They're not doing too good down there. It's just way too root bound. And then let's look at my other babies. Here's um, the zucchinis. Um, they're still in these uh, slightly larger pots, so they shouldn't be root bound or anything. They're not dead, but they're not really growing. They're just kind of hanging out, which is kind of irritating. The celery is slowly growing. You can kind of see that they're about an inch tall. They'll be half inch tall, inch maybe dead so zucchini i don't know i'm gonna have to get them see what's going on with these guys maybe different uh planning mix or something so we'll see what happens so i, I want to thank you for uh, joining us and let's see what we can do um in our next video to get these guys to start growing and be a little more happy till next time take care mm -hmm.